Good evening, everyone. This is Mr. Carey coming to you live from his house. And today, or rather tonight, we are going to tackle lesson 3.5, Enrich. So, we studied 3.5 today, and this was for fourth grade multiplication. It's multiplication with regrouping uh, two-digit numbers. So, the lesson 3.5 Enrich uh, kind of does it backwards for us. Uh, they've given us, it's called the multiplication mystery. Now, they've given us the partial products. Now, they want us to write the multiplication problem represented by these products, and then write the product. Well, there's no reason why we can't write the product first, right? We already have the partial product, so all we have to do is just add them up. 800 plus 280 plus 60 plus 21. And I've already written it here, but it's 1,161. So if I were to uh, add 800 plus 280, that gives me 1,080. Plus 60, 1,140. Plus 21 gives me 1,161. All right, so half of the answer is done. But now we have to figure out what our multiplication problem is. So this is where the distributive property is really going to help us. Now, if we remember the distributive property, and I'm just, instead of writing letters or anything crazy like that, I'm just going to have my numbers here, just blank parentheses. Now, I like to call this front and back, front and back, right? So if we want to just do that, front and back, front and back, all right? So when we go to front to front, I know this is not how we do it in algebra, but just to make things simple, front to front, right? F times F plus front to back, front to back, okay? And then we do, remember, step one, step two. Now, step three, back to front, the F. And then we go back to back. Now, what do I mean front and back? I just mean in terms of the parentheses, the front of the parentheses and the back of the parentheses. I know that's not math jargon, um, but it makes it simple for me to understand, you know, where the numbers are in relation to the parentheses. So this is really going to help us out. Now, if all those numbers and errors confuse you, um, it will get simpler, I promise. So the first step we need to look at is 800, 280, 60, and 21. Those are our answers. Those are our partial products. Well, what two numbers multiplied will make these numbers, right? So let's start off with 800. Um, you know, to make it simple, we can look at what are some ways we can make 8. What are some factors of 8, right? What times what gives me eight? Well, one times eight and two times four. Okay, so we have an idea, and I'll write the factors up here. One, two, four, eight. And you don't have to do that, um, but that just helps me keep in my mind where, what I'm uh, multiplying and what are the factors, okay? And that's gonna come in handy here when we look at 28. Okay, so, or 280. Okay, so what are some ways I can make 28? Again, you can say 280, but for now, let's just simplify it, 28. There's lots of ways, but we can do 1 times 28, and then maybe an easier one, maybe 7 times 4. You know, something we already know, right? 1, I'll put 4, 7, 28. Okay, so now if we're using our distributive property, let's look at it here, right? So this is nothing more, you know, F times, and I'll put them in parentheses, just you don't have to, but there we go. So let's do front to front, right? What times what gives me 800? Because that's our first one. That's our first one we need. So what times what gives us 800? Okay, so yeah, we could say, uh, 10 times 80 gives us 800, one times eight which, you know, 1 tens times 8 tens gives us 80 tens, which is 800. 
But then that leaves us to how do we get to here, remember? Because we go front to front, front to back. So we need to use the same number here and here. Okay, so if we use 2 or 20 or 10, it'd be kind of difficult to get to 28 here without having a really big number uh, and something that we wouldn't be able to use. So let's try 40 and 20. Okay. 40 times 20 certainly gives us uh, 800, 40 times, and here, I'll color code this a little bit. I've got lots of different colors. So I'm going to have front, and my back here will be um, red, I'll make this blue, okay, and then I will just keep this back one black, right? And this will make sense. All my different colors will make sense shortly. Okay, so our first one, and I'm going to keep the front one green. I like different colors. It helps me kind of see what I'm doing and multiplying. So, front to front. So, 40 times what gives me 800, right? 40 times 20. 4 times 2 is 8, and then I add my two zeros. Or, four tens times two tens gives me 80 tens or 800, okay? Now, we have front to front, front to front. Now we need front to back. So if we're gonna go with 40, right? 40 is our front number. We're gonna just go ahead and say that is what it is. So 40 times what gives us 280? Or 4 times what gives us 28? That's right, 7. So, now I said 4 times what, just because I, I know I can drop the zeros. But if you're not comfortable with me saying that, then I can just say 40 times what gives us 280. Well, 4 tens times 7 gives us 28 tens, or 280. So, I forgot to use my color. So I need blue, right? So, here we go. No, front to front, front to back. Oh, let's see, I messed that one up already. Messing up my colors already, so there we go, black. My black seven. All right, front to front, front to back. Okay, so now we have a good bead on 800 and 280. But now we need to figure out what about 60 and 21, okay? So now we do back to front, okay? Back to front, back to back. Okay, well, if we are saying we don't know what this number is, right? We don't know, we don't know what it is. But we do know back to front. We do know that this front, right? This one, that blue one, is a 20. I mean, that's what we say it is. Let's try it out. So 40 to 20 plus 40 to 7 plus the back to front, 20. Now we look at 60. 20 times what gives us 60? That's right. It would be 3. 3 times 20 gives us 60. Or 3 times 2 tens gives us 6 tens. Or 60. So now what all that's left is, all right, I'm running out of room, what times what gives us 21? And using these numbers that we already have here. So we don't even really have to think much about this. We can just look at what numbers here will multiply to 21. So if we do, remember, front to front, front to back, front to front, front to back, back to front, back to back. Now you might say, Mr. Carey, why does the order really matter? Well, it does, because if you break this down and you have them swapped around, you get different numbers, right? So the first time you do this, you may get something, uh, the number switched up, and you'll find out that if you switch the numbers around, you get a different answer. Right, so now we're left with this mess, right? So what does this really mean? Um, 
you know, what do I, why do I really care um, that I have all these numbers and I split this apart? Well, remember the distributive property. Go back up here. That's my expanded form. What plus what times what plus what? Okay. So let's look at our front and our back. Where's our green number? Green number is 40. And then where's our back number red? So 40 plus 3. Okay. 40 plus 3. Times, now where's our front and other back one? Our 20 and our 7 front and back. Okay, let's try that out. Uh, let's make it easy there. 20 times 7. Okay. Now, well, I should probably be helped if I use the correct operation there. There we go. 40 plus 3 times 20 plus 7. Okay. Which, now we, we're almost done, but let's just combine these numbers together. 40 plus 3 is what? 43 times, and what's 20 plus 7? 27. Okay. So that is our second answer. Our first answer is 1,161. Our second answer is 43 times 27. Now that's a lot of effort, um, but it gets you thinking in how can I take my partial products and then get you know, all the way back to the beginning, right? Because we, it, I mean, if I just flip this on its head, 43 times 27. Okay, well, I wanna do 40 plus three times 20 plus seven, okay? Now, if I do the distributive property, 40, times 20, 40 times seven, three times 20, three times seven, which then, what is 40 times 20? 800, 40 times seven, 280, three times 20, 60, and then three times seven, 21. Okay, just to make sure it's not a fluke, Let's go ahead and try number two together. I want, want to make sure we fully understand what it is that we're doing here. Because this is this is a little bit of a um, you know head scratcher of your given partial products. Um, how do you come up with the original uh, answer, the original multiplication problem? But this skill will be useful in about two chapters when we start getting into factors. Um, so. To start off, let's do number two is 600 plus 40 plus 180 plus 12. Now, let's approach this the same way, right? We need to find, what, find out what the product is. Well, let's just save ourselves some time and just add up the partial products, right? There's no need to bundle everything up, get to your original multiplication problem, and then multiply it, right? They've already done the work for us, so let's just add it up. 600 plus 40 plus 180 plus 12, and I'm just going to put the answer here, is 832, okay? So at least that's half of our answer. So let's do the rest. Now remember, if we talked about our dis uh, distributive property, remember, front to front, front to back, back to front, back to back. So let's do that. I've got my three colors here, green, red, and blue, and black. Okay, so we have our number 600. Let's, let me write my little there, uh, times plus, that's a plus, and then times, whatever, plus, right? Remember, distributive front will be black to front, and we'll make this front green. I don't really have any consistency with my colors. I, I should probably have consistency. And then we'll do back, and then back, right? So the first front is going to be front to front, so black to green, and then front to back, black to red. 
back to front, back to back, blue to green, blue to red. Okay, so the first thing we need to look at, if we're going to do front to front, what times what gives us 600? Okay, well, if we don't want to think of it like that, fine. Think of it like what times what gives us 6? What's a factor of 6? Okay, what are factors of 6? Well, yeah, 1 times 6. But let's look at our next number here. Would um, a 6 work as 40? Because that's our next step, right? Front to front, we're going to have to use a number here to make this number. So 1 could probably work, but 6 definitely wouldn't work. So we couldn't really use that. So what's another way I can make six, right? Remember, what's another way I can make six? Yeah, two times three, or three times two. Um, but I'm gonna show you why we don't wanna do 30, or to make 630 times 20. Why don't I wanna do that? Well, because, and I'm gonna do this in pencil so I don't mess it up, because if I did 30 times 20, okay, that definitely makes 600. But when I go to here, now I have to go front, remember, front to front, there we go, front to front, okay, that would work. But now I have to go front to back, so 3 times what gives me 40, or 30 times what gives me 40, well, nothing really, um, not any whole number that I could use. So, all right. But we know we're right. We know that we're using 30 times 20, but what the problem is, we just switched them around, right? And if you ever get to that part, you know, then, you, hey, you're doing okay. You know that you have the right numbers, you just need to switch the order, which is really easy. Now, let's try and see if that works, right? And then I'll write it in marker. 20 times 30, front to front, gives us 600, good. And let's try that 20 times 30. So 20 times 30 gives us 600. 20 times 30. And then what? 20 times what gives us 40? Yeah, 2. 20 times 2. 2 tens times 2 gives me, right, 40. That's correct. Okay. So, and then I'm actually, I can actually shortchange some steps here, which is cool. I mean, you, the other one, right, if you look here, let me go back to number one. Don't stick with me, right? I spread everything out and then I had to rebundle it. If you can do this like this, right? If I know 20 times 30 gives me 600. Okay, I don't need to write this. I mean, I can if I want, but you don't have to because this will save me a lot of time. 20 times 30 gives me 600. Front to front, front to back. 20 times two is 40. Now we have to do back to front. Okay, what is my back to front? And I'll, here, I'll write this. 20 plus mm, times plus. Okay, so keeping with my color coded, 30. 20 times 30 gives me 600. 20 times 2 gives me 40. Okay. Yeah, well, let's, let's at least be consistent with the parentheses, huh? There we go. Okay. Now, we're only missing one number, which is really cool, because we almost have this puzzle solved. So 20 times 30 is 600. 20 times 2 is 400. What times 30 is gives us 180. Or if you even want to do it another way, how about this? Remember, because back to front, back to back. Let's just go to here, 12. What times two gives us 12? Right, six. Six times two gives us 12. Cool. Now, all we have to do is add these up, right? Because remember, this is our expanded form. You know, we're kind of working in reverse, right? Partial products. You know, answer, partial products, expanded form, and then whatever our numbers are. Um, so, all we have to do is do a little addition here, and then we are done. So, 26 times 32, and that gives us 832.
All right, so that is number one and number two from lesson 3.5 in Rich. Um, I know it seems like a lot of work, uh, especially in my class, we give out, uh, I give out a little money, not real money, it's my class money. Um, so it may seem like a lot of work, but if you put the work in now for this, uh, when we start doing factors um, in a couple chapters, it's gonna make a lot of sense. Um, we've already kind of touched on it, but um, understanding that if I have a product, you know, I can break that product up into its factors. So understanding how that works, understanding that it's division, um, which, you know, we're already kind of doing in our head, but we don't really think of it like this. So this is Mr. Carey signing off. Uh, this was lesson 3.5 in Rich, the multiplication mystery. So for at least two of them, we have solved the mystery. Um, stay tuned, and if we like this, then I will continue to make videos. Uh, and if not, then this will be my first and last video. Signing off for now. Good night, and see you tomorrow.